My name is Cameron Duenas. And my name is Kathleen Alves. And our project is for Mr. Rowland's Fall 2014 Applied Physics class. Two-dimensional kinematics, volleyball serve. This is a clip of a player doing an overhand serve. Our problems for today are what is the speed needed for the ball to land at 4.6 meters after clearing the net? How long will it take for the ball to land from the initial to final position? These are the heights and distances we measured. From the player to the net is 9 meters. From the net to landing is 4.6 meters. The height of the net is 2.4 meters. And the height of the player is 1.7 meters. This is a demonstration of the ball in the air and where it landed. From the video, these are the given information. In the x direction, the initial position is 0 meters. The final position is 13.6 meters. The final velocity is 0 meters per second and the acceleration is 0 meters per second square. In the y direction, the initial position is 0 meters, the final position is negative 1.7 meters, and the acceleration due to gravity is negative 9.8 meters per second square. Our unknowns are the initial velocity in the x and y direction and the total time. These are the two main kinematics equations that we used. First, we need to find the change of height from the player to the net in order to find the angle. Height 1 is the height of the player and height 2 is the height of the net. The change of height is 0.8 meters. To find the angle of the serve, we formed a triangle where the x component is the distance from the player to the net and the y component being the change of height. We used tangent to find the angle which came out to be 4.4 degrees. By using the same triangle, to find the initial velocity of the x direction, we used cosine, and to find the initial velocity of the y direction, we used sine. First, we used the kinematic equation in the x direction to come up with a formula to be substituted into the kinematic equation in the y direction. Next, we took equation number 1 and substituted it into the first kinematic equation for the y direction to solve for time. The time it took the ball to travel from its initial to final position is 0.8 seconds. Now that we have time, we solved for the velocity in the x direction. By this, we used equation 1 and inputted the angle and time to get the speed. The velocity in the x direction is 17.1 meters per second. Next, we solved for the velocity in the y direction, which is negative 27.7 meters per second. In the triangle, it shows the computed velocity for the x and y direction. To answer our last question in finding the velocity of the ball, we use the Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. The speed of the ball is 32.6 meters per second. To sum up the whole problem, in order for the volleyball to hit 4.6 meters after clearing the net every time, the angle needed would be 4.4 degrees at a speed of 32.6 meters per second. The total time it took the ball to travel from its initial to final position is 0.8 seconds. This problem can be very useful for volleyball coaches to train their players to hit the exact same spot every single time by finding what speed and angle the ball should be traveling.